The Jedi Order is one of the oldest and most respected organizations in the galaxy, tracing its roots back thousands of years. It has been a bastion of peace and justice, a beacon of hope for those in need, and a symbol of the light side of the Force. However, it has also been a source of controversy, conflict, and criticism. As someone who has had a long and complicated relationship with the Jedi Order, I am uniquely qualified to provide a comprehensive and nuanced perspective on its history. The origins of the Jedi Order can be traced back to the earliest days of the Republic, when the galaxy was still in a state of chaos and disorder. The Jedi Order was founded by a group of beings who were sensitive to the Force and dedicated to upholding the principles of justice and peace. They formed a community on the planet Tython, where they honed their skills and developed their understanding of the Force. Over time, the Jedi Order grew in size and influence, becoming one of the most respected and powerful organizations in the galaxy. They became known for their wisdom, their courage, and their devotion to the light side of the Force. They also became known for their strict adherence to a code of conduct which emphasized selflessness, compassion, and detachment from worldly desires. In the days of the Old Republic, it was a time of great turmoil and conflict, with many different factions and groups vying for power and influence. The Jedi Order played a key role in maintaining the stability and order of the Republic, often serving as peacekeepers and mediators in disputes between different factions. During this time, the Jedi Order became increasingly powerful and influential, with Jedi Knights serving as generals in the Republic's military and playing key roles in many of the Republic's conflicts. However, the Jedi Order also became increasingly dogmatic and rigid, with many Jedi Masters becoming more concerned with enforcing their code of conduct than with serving the needs of the galaxy. The Clone Wars were a period of intense conflict between the Republic and the Separatists, who were led by the Sith Lord Darth Sidious. The Jedi Order played a key role in the conflict, with Jedi Generals leading the Republic's military efforts and Jedi Knights serving as soldiers on the front lines. During this time, the Jedi Order faced many challenges and hardships. They were forced to confront the reality of war and to make difficult decisions that often went against their code of conduct. Many Jedi were killed in the conflict, and the Order's leadership was thrown into disarray when it was revealed that the clone army they had been using to fight the war had been secretly commissioned by the Sith Lord Darth Sidious. The Clone Wars also highlighted many of the flaws and shortcomings of the Jedi Order. They were often criticized for their lack of transparency, and their unwillingness to share information with the public. They were also criticized for their detachment from the concerns of ordinary citizens and their tendency to prioritize the needs of the Republic over the needs of individual beings. The end of the Clone Wars marked the beginning of the rise of the Galactic Empire, which was led by Darth Sidious, who had revealed himself to be the Sith Lord behind the conflict. The Jedi Order was targeted for elimination by the Empire, which saw them as a threat to their plans for galactic domination. In a coordinated attack, the Empire launched a massive assault on the Jedi Temple on Coruscant, killing many of the Jedi who were present. The few Jedi who survived were forced to go into hiding as the Empire hunted them down one by one. The destruction of the Jedi Order marked the beginning of a dark period in the history of the galaxy. With the Jedi Order gone, there was no longer a powerful force dedicated to upholding the principles of justice and peace. The Empire ruled with an iron fist, and those who dared to oppose them were met with brutal repression. Despite the near-total destruction of the Jedi Order, a few Jedi survived and continued to fight against the Empire. They joined the growing rebellion against the Empire, hoping to overthrow their oppressive regime and restore peace to the galaxy. During this time, the Jedi Order was forced to adapt to a new reality. They could no longer rely on the structures and institutions that had once supported them, and they were forced to work in secret, using their skills and knowledge to aid the rebellion and protect those in need. After the fall of the Empire, 
the Jedi Order underwent a period of renewal and rebuilding. They worked to rebuild their order, training new Jedi and re-establishing their role as guardians of the galaxy. During this time, the Jedi Order faced many challenges and obstacles. They were forced to confront the legacy of the Clone Wars and the mistakes that had led to their downfall. They also faced new threats, such as the First Order, which sought to restore the Empire and crush the nascent New Republic. Despite these challenges, the Jedi Order remained committed to their mission of upholding the principles of justice and peace. They continued to train new Jedi and to work to protect the galaxy from those who would do it harm. The history of the Jedi Order is a complex and nuanced one, full of triumphs and tragedies, victories and defeats. I have had a complicated relationship with the Jedi Order, and I have been critical of their dogmatic adherence to their code of conduct. However, I also recognize the important role that the Jedi Order has played in the history of the galaxy. They have been a powerful force for good, fighting against oppression and tyranny, and upholding the principles of justice and peace. As the galaxy continues to evolve and change, it will be important for the Jedi Order to remain adaptable and flexible. They must be willing to learn from their mistakes and to adapt to new challenges and obstacles. Ultimately, the success of the Jedi Order will depend on their ability to stay true to their principles while also being open to change and growth. If they can do this, then I have no doubt that they will continue to be a powerful force for good in the galaxy for generations to come.